Rapping Cali like Gerald, feeling like a pharaoh in my G'd up apparel. The girl used to be small, out of wood Harold. Now I'm trying to bring it to your front door. Christmas carols, opportunity can pass. The window might be narrow. Christina Kaplan with 34 North Media. We're heading into the final regular season game of the year, and Team ISO has secured the third seed in the Keith Anderson division. Before they get to playoffs, they have to take on Baron Davis's BB4L. The odds are in their favor with Andre Drummond, Stanley Johnson, Solomon Hill, and Knicks forward Derek Williams. Breaking some ankles. Would you say that ball handling is one of your fortes? Uh, yeah, I mean, it is. I work on it every day. I work on those type of moves. And uh, to be able to showcase it out here in the Drew with the packed house is fun. You know, people like seeing uh, people go a different way than you, than you go. So it was fun. I loved it. Yeah, it was definitely evident that you work on that because a lot of great moves out there. Yeah. Now, you guys are playoff bound. How exciting is that going into next week you start playoffs? I'm excited. I mean, I, the first year I played in the Drews last year with the Soul Clinics and we didn't make it. Um, so I'm excited, like, finally get to play in a historic, you know, summer pro-am and be able to play in uh, – you know, just continue to play throughout the summer before I leave to Italy for our foreign tour. So uh, I'm excited. Now, how exciting is it for you and how motivating more is it for you to play with all of these NBA players on the team at the same time with you? It's fantastic. I mean, playing with Stan, you know, being being a high school teammate of his is fun just being on the floor with him again, you know, being able to compete and uh, playing with like Derek and Solo, guys that I work out with and Dre, who I know. It's just it's fun. And then especially playing against the other team. It's like, you know, if you want to be somewhere at the end of the day, you got to, you know, show out and you got to go out and play as hard as you can. And uh, you got to earn the respect. So you just got to go out and play hard. And if everything falls and everyone likes it. So <laughs> definitely. Well, good job. We'll see you next week. Playoff bound. Let's go. Yep. Yeah. Yes, yes, so, yep. All right, come on. Fight on. <laughs> hey, guys, Christina Kaplan here with Derek Williams of the New York Knicks. All right, Derek, you said this is your second time ever playing in the Drew. As an L.A. native, how important is it for you to come out and play in this league? Oh, uh, it's really important. You know, there's uh, a lot of kids out here, uh, them dragging their parents along, and they want to see a good game. So, uh, you know, it's always good when you have – you know, four or five NBA players on the court at one time and, and, uh, and give these people what they want, you know, a free game. You know, not so many people uh, can showcase that, so it's really fun. Now, the Wildcats were well represented today with you, Solomon Hill, and Stanley Johnson. You didn't actually play with Stanley there, but you did with Solomon. How was it playing with your former teammate again? Oh, it was great. You know, Solomon, me and Solomon were, were roommates for two years. The first two years I was at Arizona, and uh, it's great. You know, Stanley, again, another Arizona guy. And it's always good when uh, we had three Arizona guys on the, on the court at the same time. But uh, it, it, it would have been fun to play in college all, um, with both of those guys. So, uh, but it's been good. Now, obviously, you're good friends. I see right here Solomon Hill basketball camp, so that's nice. Now, this coming season, you're in a, at a new team with the Knicks in a new system, triangle offense. What are your expectations for this upcoming season? 
Oh man, uh, just to be everywhere on the court, you know, um, with, with Derek Fisher, the head coach, and, uh, and Phil, Phil Jackson being the GM, and the influence that they have uh, on the game is remarkable, man. Uh, it's bar none, and you know, with those two guys, you know, helping me develop my game, uh, not just physically, but, but mentally as well, raising my IQ out there on the court, that's the main thing, and, and getting better each and every year. Yeah, I mean, you can't beat playing with the Zen master, right? Yeah, for sure. He's, uh, he's, he's, he's the best, so uh, I'm glad to be on his team. All right, so we'll see you next week for the playoffs? For sure, I'll be here. Thank you so much. Hey, guys, Christina Kaplan here with Casper Ware. Now, Casper, I understand that you, your family is pretty much the OGs of the Drew League. How special it is, to, is it for you to come out and play in this league every summer? Um, it is really special for me and my family because, like, um, my close friend AJ said, my dad grew up playing it since he was in high school. So just to play after him, he was a good player. And for me to come in here and just try to do what he did, it's a great feeling. Now, how has the Drew League evolved since you guys, I mean, since your dad played, you know, years back? How has it evolved so far? Man, it's, it's evolved in big ways. Like, it was at first at a middle school, then we went moved to a park, and now we got another third gym that's even bigger. And you got so, so many next to see here. You got white, black, Asian. So it's, it's a mixed culture now. At first it was just black people, African Americans, and now it's just everybody coming together just to play basketball. It's great. Now, how exciting is it for you to play on the OG Baron Davis's team this year? Oh, I mean, it's really exciting. I've been watching him since I was a kid. My dad actually coached him when he was younger. So it just so good to play with. He's just like a big brother to me. Awesome. Well, good luck, and we'll see you next week. All right. Good thank job. you. Appreciate it. <laughs> oh, oh, we got we got a. And then it's like, you know what I'm saying? You already got it done. Well, no, the, the main question on the board here for you is um, what's up with your comeback, I hear? Oh, man. Well, see, that's why. I <laughs> Come on, you got to answer that question. <laughs> oh, we tried. <laughs> Team ISO defeated BB4L in a tight and physical game. Playoffs start next week, and they're already being named one of the favorites to win the championship. For 34 North Media, I'm Christina Kaplan.